Right here is July 15, 1986 is where the body of Stephanie Brown was discovered. Retired San Joaquin Sheriff's Deputy David Vito Bertacchini stands today where over 30 years ago, one of the I-5 Strangler's victim's body was found just west of I-5 on Highway 12. Got her out of the, uh, the canal here and it was determined that she had died of ligature strangulation. During his reign of terror, any woman driving I-5 at night was warned to be extra cautious. This was, you know, I call it 1980s BC, before cell phone. If they broke down, they were, you know, out of luck unless a good Samaritan stopped by. And so it began, the hunt for the killer that would take Burdekini and his partner on countless leads and dead ends, until a break in the case. Uh, good work by a Sacramento uh, police officer who, who made a stop on Kibbe at, at uh, Hagen Oaks Golf Course. Uh, where we identified Kibby at that time as probably being our prime suspect. Kibby was found with a woman who had flagged the officer down. In his car, they found what was described as a kill kit with handcuffs and cord for strangulation. And then in 1991, he was found guilty of the murder of Darcy Frankenpool and sentenced to 25 years to life. In 2009, after putting together volumes of forensic findings, Kibby was convicted of six additional murders. For Bertacchini, once a cop, always a cop. Although retired eight years ago, he would still send greetings to Kibbe. I would send him birthday cards and Christmas cards, so we would keep that dialogue available that, that he would talk to me again. Because Bertacchini is convinced Kibbe is responsible for many more killings. I would say conservatively he would be in the 20s of probably how many women he killed. I would consider him one of the worst serial killers around. And now he's gone. One convicted strangler killed by another. You know, evil killing evil. Um, I, I don't wish ill upon anyone, but maybe there was some, some justice in that. You know, he always said that strangling the women was just like putting them to sleep. I just wonder if he felt like he was sleeping when it happened to him. And I hope that he remembered all the victims that he killed while he was being killed. In San Joaquin County, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News. Now, because of Kibbe's case, Detective Bercatini and others fought for a serial killer law. Under that law, prosecutors can now combine cases from different jurisdictions. We saw that with the recent Golden State Killer trial that had multiple victims' cases tried in one Sacramento courtroom.